Hi, Shining Light. This is Pastor Dawson once again, and uh, we do have uh, our third and final point uh, in dealing with the uh, subject matter, what Israel was to do after they were clean passed over the Jordan. Uh, we saw in part number one that they were to raise a monument in chapter four of Joshua, verses one through six. They would raise this monument of 12 stones by 12 men, taking those stones out of the Jordan, putting them on the other side. So they were to raise a monument. What are we to do? We are to have something that reminds us of this time of pandemic that we can point others back to and say, this is what gives me a memory of what God did. But then second of all, he said, not only raise a monument, those 12 stones, he said, be ready for the moment when your children are going to ask you, what mean ye by these stones? He said, you'll be able to give them an answer. Uh, the New Testament in Peter says it this way. In uh, 1 Peter chapter number 3 and verse 15, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So Peter says, be ready to give an answer. What did God say back here? He said, raise a monument, be ready for the moment when the children are going to ask you, what mean ye by these stones? Notice how it reads in verse number six, that this may be a sign among you. What was that sign? The 12 stones taken from the Jordan and placed on the other side. And when your children ask their fathers in times to come, he said, children will be born they will ask what this sign means. What's this memory? What's this marker? What's this monument? He says, uh, saying, uh, what mean ye by these stones? Then ye shall answer them that the waters of Jordan were cut off before the ark of the Lord, uh, the ark of the covenant of the Lord when it passed over Jordan. The waters of Jordan were cut off and these stones should be for a memorial unto the children of Israel forever. Then down in verse number 23, he says down there, or I'm sorry, verse number 21, he spake unto the children of Israel, saying, when your children shall ask their fathers in time to come, saying, what mean these stones? Then ye shall let your children know, saying, Israel came over this Jordan on dry land. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you till you were passed over uh, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which he dried up from before us until we were gone over. So he says, uh, when they ask you what mean ye by these stones, he says, uh, you can let them know as you're ready for the moment that God dried up the Jordan River when it happened after 40 years of wandering. Then I want to add these last two notes to this. We saw what happened. God dried it up. That's what the stones mean. When did it happen? after 40 years. Uh, where did it happen? In the Jordan. But then why did it happen? When you're ready for this moment and they ask you, hey, well, why did God do this? And why did God allow this? What, why did you do these stones? He says, you'll have an answer. You'll be ready for the moment. People are going to ask us, well, why did God do this pandemic? Why did he allow this to happen? I love the answer given in verse 23, Joshua chapter 24 says, for the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you until you were passed over, uh, passed over as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which he dried up from before us until we were gone over. But notice 24, that all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty. He said, first of all, God wants everybody to know that his hand is mighty. He can do whatever it is that he needs to do. He can dry up the Jordan. He can let you pass over on dry ground. God, through this pandemic, can sustain us. He will allow us to survive and get through it. And he says, hey, look, this is going to be this sign. Be ready for the moment. He said that you will know that God is mighty. Notice verse uh, 24 again. And that ye might fear the Lord your God forever. He says, I want you to be in awe of what God can do. I want you to reverence what God can do. I want you to realize and recognize that although it may seem impossible, you serve a God of the impossible because he is possible and able to do it all. Amen. So when he says down here, uh, wh why did it happen? I want all the earth to know that I, I'm a mighty God. I want all the earth to fear me as you fear me. And uh, what is the result? They have a new life, new land, 
and they have new opportunities before them. I've got a missionary letter from one of our missionaries, and uh, they talk about uh, the, the monument uh, that God set in their lives and ready for the moment. And notice some things that they said came to pass as a result of this pandemic. Said, without this new experience, we would not be working together like we are as a family, as a staff, as a school, and church family. He says, we would not have our online services working as well. And by the way, neither would we. He says, we would not have our school on a platform for all to see. He says, we would not be recording seminary classes online for all to see. He says, we would not have seen three souls saved that have been saved. He says, we would not have family members who will not come to services listening faithfully to services in their homes. So in other words, he says, because of this pandemic, there are family uh, members uh, that are listening, that are members of our church that normally wouldn't come any other way. He says, we would not appreciate what we have like we do now. And by the way, it is the same for us. We're safe. Uh, most of us are healthy. Most of us are happy serving the Lord in this unique way. Let's make sure we raise a monument to our Lord and our Savior. Let's make sure we're ready for the moment when they ask us what happened, when it happened, where it happened, and why it happened, that all the earth may know. Notice that again, verse 24. That all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty, that you might fear the Lord your God forever. Israel was to have this as a monument, as a memory of how mighty God was and what he was doing in their lives. When we look back on this pandemic, we should be able to see how mighty God is, was, and what he's doing and what he wants to do in the future. Till we meet again, let's make sure we remember that that all the earth may know. Let people know what God is doing in your life. Be ready for the moment and be ready with a monument. Till we meet again, let's keep our heads up, our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ and our knees down in prayer one for another. Take care.